In this video, I will tell you everything I know so far about the upcoming NVIDIA RTX 4060 graphics card. That includes specs, performance, release date and price. Additionally, since we already have a pretty good performance estimation based on the leaks, I have put together benchmark charts for 1080p, 1440p and 4K resolutions to show what FPS you can expect from RTX 4060 in current popular AAA games later this year. Before that, buy your Windows 10 or 11 key for less from cdkeyoffer.com at the link in the description below. Use code IV20 to get a 25% discount that brings the price down to as low as $16. You can securely check out with PayPal and receive your Windows key in minutes, ready to be activated on your PC. Let's start with the specs. Earlier this year Nvidia was hacked and all GPU die configurations were leaked. Although we don't know for sure which die will be in which graphics card, I can make an educated guess that RTX 4060 will use AD104 GPU configuration. It has 7680 CUDA cores and 48 MB of cache, which is a big improvement because the current flagship RTX 3090 has just 6 MB of cache. Keep in mind that the final product may have less CUDA cores and cache if manufacturing yields are bad. In addition to that, RTX 4060 will have 12 GB of 18 to 20 GB per second GDDR6 memory across a 192 bit bus and TDP around 200 watts. The prices are expected to increase for all next gen graphics cards. I expect RTX 4060 to cost somewhere between $400 and $500, which is still a pretty good price considering that it will have performance comparable to RTX 3080, more on that in a minute. As for the release date, there is still a lot of uncertainty. Usually Nvidia and AMD release high-end products first, followed by mid-range RTX 4060 equivalents a few months later. However, this year may be different, because Intel is preparing to launch its Arc desktop graphics cards, aiming to grab a chunk of mid-range GPU market in Q3 2022. So there is a big chance that Nvidia will want to counter that move by releasing RTX 4060 early. Considering that, I expect to see it launch in Q4 2022 or even earlier. Now let's talk about the gaming performance. RTX 4060 should be as powerful as RTX 3080 in rasterization and about as good as 3090 and 3090 Ti in ray tracing. So, definitely an overkill for 1080p gaming, as most AAA games will run at above 100 FPS on ultra quality settings. FYI, all of the following benchmark charts represent FPS without ray tracing. In Assassin's Creed Valhalla expect around 111 FPS when playing at 1080p on ultra high quality preset. I just want to bring your attention to how close RTX 4060 is to 3090. Far Cry 6 on ultra quality preset should run at around 126 FPS average. Pretty good for gaming on a high refresh rate monitor. We should see about 105 FPS in Watch Dogs Legion running the game using ultra quality settings. Cyberpunk 2077 on high preset should perform at around 125 FPS on average. These 1080p results are insane, so I think that Nvidia will market RTX 4060 as a 1440p graphics card. The gaming experience at 1440p will be very smooth in all of the latest AAA games that are out right now. Assassin's Creed Valhalla at 89 FPS average is a good example of that. Using the ultra high quality preset, the performance is still well above 60 FPS. Far Cry 6 is even better at 114 FPS average on ultra preset at 1440p. Watch Dogs Legion should run at around 85 FPS using ultra quality preset. And even notoriously difficult to run Cyberpunk 2077 should feel smooth running at 83 FPS average at 1440p. Will RTX 4060 be any good at 4K gaming? The answer is yes, but only with the currently released games in mind. Obviously future games will be more demanding. 
I would like to remind you that truly next-gen games are not even out yet. I think we will start seeing more of those arriving over the next few years. Just take a look at the Unreal Engine 5 demos and you will understand what I mean. By the way, the upcoming Witcher 4 and Stalker 2 are using this engine. But let's get back to the benchmarks. Assassin's Creed Valhalla at 4K on ultra high preset should run at around 59 FPS average. While Far Cry 6 should break the 60 plus FPS barrier and run at around 73 FPS on average using ultra quality preset. Watch Dogs Legion should provide an OK experience at around 54 FPS. But you will have to dial down some of the settings in Cyberpunk 2077 at 4K resolution, because it is expected to run at around 41 FPS on average. Bear in mind that DLSS is getting better and better, so I suspect that it may become a viable option to buy an RTX 4060 to game at 4K resolution, even when more demanding games will come out in a few years' time. What do you think about it? Oh, and give this video a like if you enjoyed it. It really helps a lot. It was I, Vadim. Until next time.